so the red carpet's getting pretty crowded and we're only allowed one question now. You know, it's been a great evening. I'm at the ITV Film Fest at the Renaissance Hotel here in Hollywood. And I cannot wait to go inside and party and have a great time. This is Joy Paris with Rich Girl Network TV. Good. You're looking beautiful, darling. You look wonderful. So tell everybody who you. Thank you. I love that outfit. Thank you. So tell everybody who you are and what your what part do you have in this wonderful event tonight? Um, I am actually nominated for uh, <laughs> um, red carpet host. Yes. Really. And so I've been working with them for a while, so it's really terrific to be recognized for your work. And actually, it's. As soon as I'm off the carpet, I'll be on the other side interviewing again. <laughs> so tips for wannabe hostess out there. Give them two tips on the best way to be the red carpet host. Um, well, you know, uh, do your research. I think it's extremely important. Um, whoever it is, of course, there are facts and that everyone knows about. But I think it's to get a good interview. It, you have to sort of like dig a little deeper and hopefully find out a little bit more and address, you know, them with questions and such that typically people wouldn't ask. It's not common knowledge. Um, let's see, the second one, I would say always look your best. Whatever it is, put your best foot forward in how you dress, how you present yourself, um, and be vocal. Well, you look great. You represent very well, and those are wonderful tips. And you heard it right here from the nominee for the best red carpet host at the ITV Festival. Thank you, my beautiful red carpet host. Thank you very much. It was lovely. I love this outfit. Look at how gorgeous you are. This man has a really fantastic film at the festival, Minimal Explorer. I loved it. He took us to Columbia. Wait, Columbia. Columbia, Columbia right. Columbia yeah. for gems. And I learned so much about gems and diamonds and emeralds. No, not diamonds. Emeralds? E emeralds. Emeralds. So emeralds. We went to the mines in Columbia, Cosquais, and Muso. And we take people there to show them exactly what it's like yeah. to get the emeralds from the mines and then we went back to Bogota and yeah. we went to the streets of Bogota where we bought emeralds in the streets. And you did a great job. Well thank you so much. And it was your first time being a filmmaker. It's our very first time, right. See, I paid it's, attention. It's the beginning of a new series we're going to do, a reality series, taking people throughout the world to show them remote localities and the beautiful minerals and crystals that come from them. I like it. So tell my, everybody your name and your film again, just so we have it on record. Thomas Nagin, Mineral Explorers. And it was really great exploring with Thomas. It was wonderful. <laughs> so nice to see you, thank and you. I'll see you Pleasure. inside. And okay. It was a great film. Oh, thank right, you so much. <laughs> Did we get this beautiful, wonderful nominee? I suppose you're a filmmaker. I'm a producer, yes, producer and uh, performer in Rented Space, the sci-fi comedy from Australia. I didn't see that. Yeah, darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> so um, really quickly, uh, just tell me your again in your film and what inspired you to do this film. Uh, basically, it was written by uh, a, an award-winning writer from Australia called Kai Smythe. Um, his sort of experience growing up sort of as a young 20-something in the share house culture in, in Australia is, you know, these really run down places, you know, crazy adventures, crazy characters coming in every, out of your house all the time. And we thought, he's got to write a series about this. And he's a huge sci-fi fan, so we said, well, let's set it in space. So, you know, bring those two loves together, I guess. So your best ex experience producing? Best experience producing is probably uh, this one. Actually, Rented Space was a huge epic. It's the biggest one we've done so far. Uh, we had over sort of 60 crew, over 100 extras and, and cast in a, in a seven day shoot. So it was really intense, all in one big blue screen room. So we had prosthetics and, oh you know, God. full alien kind of setup. So it was. I need, yeah. a, I need a DVD screener sent to my company. Okay, well, we'll give a card. We'll do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you heard it. She can't say she didn't promise me. My screener. That's it. It's all on camera. Tessa Waters. And that's who's this idea. handsome fella there? That's that's right. A director, Kai Smythe. So he's uh, he's just bypassed. Oh, really? You got to grab him while he's hot. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna grab him on the way. Okay. When you flip over, bring him back okay, here. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And you look beautiful, by the way. Very nice. So. Thank you. Just tell everybody who you are and the film that you have, and we yeah. know a little bit. But tell me some more. Yeah, sure. Well, um, yeah, Rented Space is. Uh, uh, I'm the writer director of Rented Space. And, uh, oh, crazy thing, sorry. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it's about a bunch of guys that live in a share house in space, essentially. So they, they grow organic veggies on the ship and they, um, they sell it to different quadrants and throughout, you know, different markets throughout the galaxy. 
So it's essentially about uh, the concept that in space there's going to be very normal people like us, you know, in the future. And it's not always going to be epic. It's not always going to be crazy. Um, so we decided to try and make some very real characters in the future because there will be very normal, boring characters. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's quite interesting, quite interesting. Well, I was promised a DVD screener from your producer, so I oh, better wow. get it. Well, oh, well, if she said we'll get it to you, we'll definitely get it to you. Right, definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking with thank us. You thank you. Much. And you look wonderful, by the way. Oh, thank you very Love much. Love that style on him. Oh, you dressed well. him, right? No, I'm kidding. I actually, yeah, I designed this in Vietnam. Oh, my God. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm with the most stunning woman tonight. You look stunning. Oh, you look amazing. Yeah. I, uh, uh, drag queens taught me how to put on my lipstick. <laughs> it's true. You look great, honey. Oh, thank you. Thank so, you. I know you're hosting tonight. Um, anything special we're going to see tonight from you? Any sort of, you know, little... <laughs> Why would I give it away now? I if know. I'm hosting, hello, I... Oh, I no. no secrets, no secrets. Maybe I'll jump out of a cake or I'll jump out of a waiter or something. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you look great. I can't wait to see you tonight uh, perform and uh, keep up the wonderful work. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll have fun tonight. Yes, Thank you. I love you. Know. My name is Cher Rue. I have a talk show on the internet. It's called the Show.com. It's geared towards the plus size community. Like we are beautiful no matter what That's size right. we are. Uh, beauty comes from inside and uh, lots of love. Yep. And she's doing a great job, and she looks beautiful tonight. You look stunning. What did you say? You look stunning. Oh, thank you. So do you. Thank you so much. You look really great. Thank you. You always look good. You know, I'm always running into her. You always look good. Thank you. So, I mean, of course, I can never see your name right, so I'm going to let you do all of that stuff. All right. How can I say? I'm Tushari Jayasekar. And it's great to be here. I'm here to support Stay Tuned TV and the, all the shows that are nominated and to enjoy myself. And you know what I love about her? She's always supporting film. She was at the New Filmmakers uh, Festival. I mean, you just get out there and support filmmakers. And this is what makes it exciting in Hollywood. You know, she's on a successful show. Is it still running? No, it's not running anymore. It's uh, outsourced, didn't get renewed by NBC. Uh, but I worked on some other shows yeah. that are hopefully coming up. And then I'm here, at, I think I support festivals, so some of those filmmakers will hire me in the yes. future. Well, <laughs> so we might have Rich Girl Productions, hello. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. You look wonderful, and thank, thank you. you for coming out and supporting. Thank you, and you look great, too. Thank you, darling. Have fun. Yes, I will, I will, I will. You look wonderful. I like to talk to all the handsome men, and everybody else, I don't care. Well, there you go. I don't know. He, maybe he can he'll go away. I don't know. I think you guys both look good together. So. Give us the, uh, your filmmakers, obviously. Exactly. My name's James. This is Sam. We wrote this TV show called The Brown Bookstore. Uh, uh, we basically were actors in Hollywood just you know, auditioning, and we said, let's write a show. So we made a show about these three landscapers from Kansas who get a job at the prestigious Brown University Bookstore. So well, it's a comedy. Never been outside of our hometown. Very unworldly, you know, unworldwise, and we find ourselves working at the Brown University bookstore in you know Ivy League Providence and total fish out fish out of water you know very sort of earnest guys who just naive don't know what they're doing and running up head to head with these people who you know heavy hitting academics so, so it's, it's a series right it is yeah. we've written a bunch of episodes and we shot like a pilot presentation for it a couple months back and then submitted it to this festival. Okay, so. and what are you pitching it further on to a uh, network? Yeah, you know, uh, all, any and all networks. It's, 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 we made it for a, as a television show. Uh, a lot of people, uh, we made it for a television show, but a lot of people have been talking about making a web series type thing, but we're open to whatever. We, we don't know what we're doing. I mean, we just, just been running with it. So it's been fun. This festival's been all fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and nice some men. All right then. Look at them looking much. all stylish. Okay. So Rachel, right? Yes. All right. Rachel. I remember Rachel because Rachel has this really great travel show about this one woman who forges on an adventure by herself, no crew, just her. And I loved it, loved it, loved Thank it. You. So I, I just said everything about your show. Yeah. You did. I love you. You're perfect. I don't need to do anything else. Woo. Except snag your dress with my handbag. Okay, that's all right. We have a snack, technical difficulty. I do do that. But at least we're not showing boobies. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah, there are no wardrobe malfunctions. 
So, so everybody, I mean, just your take on your show and then how we can, you know, see more of your show. Uh, well, hopefully my show will be coming to a mobile platform near you soon, which will be the biggie. Right now it's at theperegrinedame.com. And the essential premise is trying to empower women to get out and do things alone, even if that's international travel. Start by going to the movie, because I don't care what you do, but but don't be afraid. Um, yeah, and, and know that if you don't have anybody to go with, it's not really an excuse. You know, you should get out and go, because you meet so many amazing people. And I loved, uh, you went to South Africa, which yes. I love, and you went to London, my favorite city. Thank you. Yeah, they were all a kick. South Africa was a special treat, because I was actually working in conjunction with the Earth Organization to highlight some of their tours. And I normally don't do tours because that's not traveling alone. But these guys were so, the cause is so worth it that it was worth highlighting what they do because they, all of the tours benefit their South African conservation and, and eco-conservancy programs, which are incredible. So. Well, you did a great job. Thank you. So stay tuned to Rachel Parsons, right? Yes. See? Mm -hmm. I got it. I remember these things now. I'm not just a pretty face out here. I'm kidding. I was able to see Misbehave, and I thought it was really, really cute and really fun. But she was very naughty. That's why it's called Misbehave. It's true. So um, I know why I'm here. And tell everybody your name, of course. And we know it's Misbehave, but tell us your name. I'm Jillian Clare, and I'm here because I'm nominated for Best Actress in a Drama! What's up? Even though I feel like I'm a comedian right now, because I'm like about to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm Brett Delbuno, and I'm nominated for Best Actor in a Drama. <laughs> because, you know, it's all about these teens, and they don't know what they're doing, and one wants this, and one wants that, and oh, it's drama, 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 drama. Life. That's <laughs> what teenagers go through is what we produce. <laughs> So it's misbehave. It was really great, but real quick. So I know that you have a lot planned uh, for your career. So what's next? Um, well, for misbehave, we're going back into production. I believe I don't know sometime in November, or December. We both have crazy schedules that just kind of popped up. Um, so we had to push production back, but we're hoping that we get to do it December, November, somewhere around there. And then besides that, we are going to have a sister show launch next year um, that focuses on my parents and. Um, the world of the publicity industry and yeah, that's what was your mom yeah, at the well, party nobody saw her exactly, hello exactly. she lets all these teens go and have a party and she's not there come on and that's kind of something that we want to say till the third season so third season you'll definitely meet the queen and then she'll have her own show called rain which will premiere like sometime next year too well i'm going to look forward for the queen and yeah. this handsome young man was a love interest well yes kind of sort of so tell us a little bit about that um, well, on the show, I play Jillian's uh, best friend, and uh, she's got two sets. Well, of we think he really loves Jillian. <laughs> we, uh, she's got two sets of friends, though, good friends and, and her bad friends, who she misbehaves with. Um, and we, you know, me and one of her other friends, kind of try to keep her on the right path, keep her doing the right things, and you know, we stand up for her and try to make sure she's doing the, you know, the right stuff. And actually, last season, I got to do something kind of cool. I got to stand up for her and almost get yeah. in a fight for her. And, so it's kind of cool on the show, yeah. And and it's great because in real life, Jillian and I have been best friends for four or five years now, yeah, so. I think you're onto something, and I think you guys are going to be great stars no matter what. And I expect to see you on television and in big films, right? And more red carpet for these beautiful young stars of Misbehave. Thanks.